Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make a pizza saladier. Pizza saladier is a traditional, absolutely delicious tart from France. It's actually quite similar to a pizza. It's a thick bread dough topped with caramelized onions black olives, anchovies. You can find the link to the other ingredients that you will need such as the anchovies or how to make the bread dough right there to prepare this pizza ladier. And when you will have uh, the anchovies and then the bread dough already, then you will be able to start to make the pizza ladier. So first you need to prepare those two um, ingredients. Pizza ladier is the dish that you absolutely need to try because First, it's easy to make and it's delicious, hot or cold. It's usually served as a starter, uh, but I also serve it sometimes as a meal with a green salad. Of course, for the meal, the portion will be just bigger than what you will serve for a starter. So let's have a look at the ingredients and the utensils that you will need for this recipe. You need uh, one kilo of onions, yellow onions, uh, some salt, uh, some bread dough that you have prepared uh, the day before, a small glass of water, a branch of rosemary, a leaf of laurel and one clove. You also need black olives, uh, uh, here I use eight, and a garlic bulb. You also need the vegan anchovies that you have prepared as well, preferably before. You need some olive oil. You also need a Dutch oven, a salad bowl, a knife, a rolling pin, a dough scraper, a pizza pan, so this one is round, but if you have a square one, it's okay, but it, has to, it needs to have um, low edges. So first you need to cut the little part with the roots of the onion and also the tail. And then you cut them halfway that way. Then you peel off the skin. You have to cut them halfway that way because um, after we're going to slice them and if you cut them uh, not in that direction you won't have the right shape for the onions. In one kilo of onions you have roughly five middle-sized onions so uh, that's a process that doesn't take too long. So then you slice them this way, starting from the side, and then you are going to obtain um, stems of onion that have to be um, like that, that sort of that sort of size, like three, four millimeter wide. So finish all your onions. When you finish with all of this, take them all and put them in the salad bowl um, aside. So start your fire uh, in medium low temperature. Uh, we are going to cook the onions and you have to be careful that they don't burn. So the temperature needs to be uh, quite low, but not too low. Uh, pour some uh, olive oil, add your rosemary, the clove, the laurel, and then pour all the onions. So give a nice stir to make sure that all the uh, onions separate and 
that will allow them to cook evenly. So at the beginning, it seems that you have a lot in the in the Dutch oven, but when they're going to they're going to reduce, and you will have less than that. Add the garlic. You can add the garlic at the beginning. I just forgot it, so I put it uh, after. It doesn't matter. And after 10 minutes of cooking, add a small glass of uh, warm water and then stir. So you will have to stir every five to 10 minutes just to make sure that the onions don't brown. They shouldn't turn yellow. They should, they should keep their color and become slightly translucent. After 30 minutes, the onions are cooked, so you can uh, prepare your, uh, your pizza pan. Oil it generously. You have to oil it properly unless the bread dough is going to stick. Flour gently your working station and pour your dough on it. Oil your hands. Uh, that's to avoid the, for the dough to stick. The dough is a bit cold at, the, at that moment because it comes from the fridge, so it won't stick too much, but it's just better to uh, oil your hands. And you are going to start to gently uh, flatten the dough with the palm of your hand. And take your rolling pin and gently stretch the dough to um, obtain a circle that will have the size of your pizza pan. So don't hesitate to turn the dough to make sure that it doesn't stick to the table. And push sideways like I do to obtain something like a circle. So we are almost there. Now it's a bit oval shape, so I'm going to stretch it uh, on the, the two other sides to get something more, uh, more round. You can also use your hand like I do to stretch the dough. The dough is quite flexible, so uh, that will also help to, uh, for the dough to expand and also to take the shape of the, of the pan. You see how now the dough has warmed up slightly and then you can mold it um, easily. The thickness of the dough should be um, yeah, something between 5 mm to 1 cm. It depends on the size of the pan of course and a thick dough here uh, will be uh, better. We want to have a, a thick uh, bread dough uh, as a base. So then transfer the dough into the pizza pan. Stretch the dough to make it fit the size of the, of the pizza pan. So you can see I push the dough here and there. I stretch it here, tuck it there, fold it. Tuck and fold the dough all around the edges until you obtain a nice circle and um, a, an even edge all around. So the dough is ready at this stage and I will recommend you to let it uh, rise another 30 minutes. You will have, uh, it will give, it will give the, the pizza ladier a better result. So after 30 minutes, the onions have cooled down and then you can start to spread them over the, the bread dough. Give a gentle stir to make sure that everything is properly mixed. At this stage, all the water should be evaporated, so if you have some excess water, just uh, don't put it on the dough uh, because it's going to make the dough too wet and it won't rise as well as it should. So the onion should be not dry, but not liquid. Pour all the onions and spread them evenly everywhere, especially on the edge. 
you want to have an even onion layer don't flatten it uh, with your spoon because it looks better if you have a bit of onion surface then add your olives Then I add my anchovies in between and sometimes if the anchovies are too small then I will add a second one because when they will cook they will also shrink a bit. Then I add a generous amount of black pepper so the pea saladier is ready to be oven baked. So set up your oven at 200 degrees, put your pea saladier in the oven and add a glass of water in a pan in the base of the oven. That will help the cooking of the bread in particular. And this is the final result. This is the authentic pisaladier. So let's have a bite and let's try this pisaladier. Mm. so good the sweetness combined with this bread dough and those anchovies that really are salty and tastes like like real anchovy actually and mm. This is a real pizza radio. Vegan, but delicious. You also have the, in the back notes, the, the rosemary and the laurel that give you this like a flavor of Provence that are very unique. This is really a dish that you need to try to do because it's quite easy to make the ingredients are simple you can find them everywhere mm. oh, so good. the black olives they they sort of they cook in the oven so you have a kind of like a crust that is crispy around it and that makes them very very delicious mm. i hope that you enjoy this recipe and if you want to be notified for the next recipes click the notification button below and until the next recipe i say you bye and see you next time